Hello, welcome back to Fishing Henny. We're on Boodle Bay fishing, bait fishing, spinning, trying a bit of everything. We've been to Dunsinbrook Castle this morning and we're aiming to get as many species as we can. I've had a uh, rocklin. Little delicate thing that. A little slimy thing. Then I got a scorpion fish. So here's fish number two. It's a, my second ever scorpion fish. Teeny little thing. See the size of it compared to my finger. But it's still a fish. I lost a decent pollock as well, like, yeah. Nearly pulled me rod in. Whoa. Oh, it's off. No. A big pollock. And then I got a couple of mackerel as well. So we've kept the mackerel and they're in the bag to be used as bait. We've also got some lugworm, as you can see there. There's the mackerel in the bag. That's got lugworm on it. I've just casted it into this deep pool that runs along here. And I'll put a spinner out as well. See what we can get. David's fishing over there, spinning. And he's got a bait rod out as well, which is, he's just lay it on the ground. So we'll see what we can get. We're aiming to get as many species as possible. So at the minute it's up to three. David's got a flatfish. Species two for him. I don't know if that's just weed or, or what. It's a little bit heavier than it should be. Ah, it's a crab. It's a still a species though. It's a crab. Ah? It's, well, technically not a fish, but it's still another species, so I'm going to count it. Right, nothing's been touching the lures, so what I've done is, on the small rod, I've just got, on the swivel there, I've clipped on a bit of mono and just a little weight and a, a lugworm and I'm just going to chuck that out. Just really lightweight fishing. And that'll move around on the bottom, cover a bit more ground. The tide, the tide is pushing in now. So hopefully it's pushing the fish in. Something having a bite of it. Little short, sharp tugs. needed to take the bait. Oh, what's I got on here? Aha! <laughs> there we go. Big 
weed coloured, a weed covered flatfish. I think that's a flounder. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Fish species number four. Nice, it's quite a plump, fatty that. Nice and white on one side. Blech. <laughs> well, full of sand now. But yeah, little googly eyed flounder there. Now I'll get that back in. Right, I've got a fresh lug on there. And I'll chuck that back out. Oh, it's getting really windy. It's blown right across the bay. Right, across that way. That water's creeping up all the time too. So I'll put that out and then I'll put this little rod back out as well. I should have brought my beach stand. It would have been much easier, wouldn't it? So we're camping at Boodle Bay today. Just fancied the night out relaxing and not having to rush home. So it should be nice. I'll probably fish until it gets dark and then head back up to the tent. There's flounder number two for David. I'll give you a close up on that. There you go. So fish number three of the day, species number two still. We're going to move. We're going to go just in that bay there to see if it's any more sheltered from the wind and to see if it's any better for not getting weeded up because every cast we're just getting weeded up here. Right, I'll bring you back round, we'll get round there. Right, <laughs> I haven't really been doing any proper filming because it's so windy and horrible but I've just caught another little Flatty. I think it's a flounder. I'll have a look. Yeah, that's a that's a flounder. So it's a tiny, teeny little one. But it's another fish. I'll get that unhooked and chucked back in. I'm just trying to decide whether to go back to the tent or not. I don't think you hear this, but there's just like huge wind came out of nowhere. And look at the, look what's happened to the sky. I've just got, it's just turned black over here. And above us as well. So we don't know whether it's going to chuck down or whether it's just a passing phase. We're going to just hang around for five minutes and see see what happens. But we're going to get ready to, to run just in case. Right, we've decided just to carry on fishing. Because I think it's just going to pass. So I've baited up a fresh bait onto the bigger rod, which I'll I'll chuck out now. So I've got a, a double yellow tail on there. I'm just using a watch lead. It's all you really need for somewhere like this. But we've both just had tiny little flounder. One each. So there's still fish there. I'll just put another worm onto this little free lined kind of setup. up. 
hooks. I'm just pushing the yellow tail up the hoop as far as I can get it. And then just casting that out. I'm not throwing it too far because it's very light. I just get blown around in the wind. So just at the water's edge, really. I'm going to freshen them worms up because they're getting rather warm in this strange weather. bait on with a little yellow tail. Get this back out. So that's probably the most species I'm going to get today. But fall's quite good. I'm quite pleased with that. It's been a nice day as well. It's been relaxing. I haven't really done much to the camera so I'm not sure how the video is going to come out but you'll probably get to see what I've caught and where I've been. Right that's it <laughs> we've had enough. Catching flatties is not the most exciting fishing in the world and you know what for August it's absolutely freezing cold so I'm standing here shivering in summer clothes. So that's it, I'm gonna pack up, I'm gonna head back to the tent, and I'm gonna call it a day. I hope I can get a video out of it. I hope you've enjoyed it if I do. We've had um, rocklin, scorpion fish, mackerel, and flounder, so that's four species. Not bad for a day out. I've enjoyed myself. Watch what you're doing. Take care, tight lines. <laughs>